Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And yes, it's good to be back after a month and and yeah, thank you so much for showing your love and support on my Patreon. And then I didn't expect that my Patreon will grow that much faster. And again, thank you so much. Uh, and today we'll be creating a very simple poster design and also uh, testing a lot uh, from Colorist Factory. So there are a lot to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create an artboard. So for that, go to file, click on new, and I'll just go with four by five. Let's click on create. And then right after that, let's drag and drop this uh, player image right over here. And let's make it a little smaller, control T, just like, uh, just like so. And then, you know what, let's make a copy, control J, just for a safety and let's turn the visibility off for this one. And let's go to the layer max, go to the brush and let's go for a general soft brush. And there is a track fill underneath, so let's reveal that track fill. I think I, I need those, yep, just, just like uh, so. Yep, just like that. And control T, let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it maybe just like that. And now let's go over here, go to the pen tool and let's uh, go for a shape and then the, let's draw a shape. Yep, maybe something like that. And let's change the shape color to kind of darker darker kind of red maybe 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 something like that and let's click on okay and now let's create a one more layer go to brush and then from here let's go for a particle explosion brush and i'm going to use this one and let's change the color to white and let's add some particles right over here and let's go on top and let's add some in the front too just like so and let's go to the very bottom create a new layer and then let's add one on very back maybe one right over here too just like so now after that let's drag and drop uh, this image right over here and let's keep it in the background and control T Let's make it really big, maybe something somewhere around like that. And let's, yep, let's keep it just like so. Now let's apply the LUT that I was talking about. So let's go over here, let's add a color lookup and from here click on load. This is the LUT from Colorist Factory and if you want to download the same LUT pack, please check on the description list below. So go over here and click on load. And uh, right after that, you can get a kind of more cinematic vibes. And I kind of like this look on my designs. But again, we can add some kind of curves and to tweak around. So let's go over here and add a curve. And let's go for a green. Let's increase the green on the highlights just like so. And maybe let's on the shadows, let's do something like that. Let's go to the blue and let's see. Let's decrease the blue from the shadows. Yep, just like so. And let's do the same thing from here too. Just like so. And let's go to RGB curve. And you know what? Let's punch that a little up. And let's make it a kind of S curve. Yep, something like that. And let's go back to the layers and let's do some adjustments. So let's go over here, create a new layer, right click, create clipping max, go to brush. And let's go for a general, general soft brush. And uh, let's add a kind of glow on over the edges. Uh, control plus. Yep, just, just like so. Yep, maybe it's right around here. Eraser, let's erase some of these parts. Go to brush again and let's add some some right over here. Yep, and let's uh, go over here, create a new layer, go to brush again and let's add some kind of glow on 
and right over here too and let's drop down the opacity just like that uh, or maybe some more yep just like so yep let's keep it like that and then let's create a one more layer go to edit go to fill and let's fill it with 50 percent gray and let's change it to soft light and let's add some dozen brown so let's go for a brown tool and uh, let's add some brown right around here maybe some right around here and let's add some dust over his face maybe some around here maybe some right around here too just just like that just like so so this is before and this is after and again let's go to this main image go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and then let's go to basic tab let's increase the clarity just like that and let's drop down the vibrance and again let's drop down the highlights too maybe the vibrance is too much let's keep it maybe somewhere around here and then let's go to the detail tab let's increase the noise reduction and color noise reduction too and let's keep it just like so and let's click on ok so this is what we got and then let's add some uh, text Yep, let's keep it like that and then let's merge everything Control shift alt and e go over here let's add a curve curve and yep so that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you in the next video bye bye